Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to give you guys a heads up on two free games that you can pick up over on the Epic Game Store. On top of that, a brand new Humble Bundle. A lot of lower key games in it, but one game in particular really does make the entire bundle worth it. And a big title is in quote-unquote early access availability. Today I'll meme on that early access until the day I die, but... Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 is officially in early access today. I am incompetent, and I said that it was available yesterday. Guys, when you're trying to follow so many dates, and you're as dumb as me, sometimes you get the dates mixed up. My apologies. It just went live as I'm recording this video 30 minutes ago. Uh, Focus gave me a copy of the game, so I was playing it, and I was just like, oh, I'm playing it while everybody's playing it, and that was not the case. So my apologies for that. But we'll talk that at the end of this video. Right off the top, Football Manager 2024 and Sniper Ghost Warriors contracts are available free over at the Epic Game Store. They are the freebies this uh, this week and next week you'll have Rugrats Adventure in Gameland and Super Crazy Rhythm Castle. So can't really speak much on that. Can't really speak much on Football Managers 2024. Uh, although I do have two friends that are super into Football Manager. And as I am recording this video, literally one of them is playing it right now. Actually... Let me pull up this man's Steam profile right now, and I'll tell you guys how many hours he has in this game. 1,165 hours. Now, I personally have seen him leave this game running on idle on his PC all the time, so it's probably a fraction of that hour, uh, of that many hours, but still, the man plays this game uh, incessantly, and uh, it's, like, hilarious to see uh, when he's playing Football Manager. I have another friend that plays it a lot, although I don't have that friend added on Steam, actually, so I can't see his hours but nevertheless 1100 hours for my boy playing football manager and uh, just to go on a diatribe we had a hilarious conversation uh so football manager 24 was the first one that he played and i was just like oh so you're gonna check out football manager 2025 like what what's it gonna take for you to pick it up again next year as far as improvements that can be made and he deadpan looked at me and said absolutely nothing they have my money and i was just like yo this is what happens with yearly game release now i understand when i saw that transfer i was like yo they make a killing off these games but nevertheless that is available free and then sniper ghost uh warrior contracts is available free as well this came out back in 2019, five years old. Uh, Sniper Ghost Warrior has been one of those franchises that I feel like never popped off as much as I thought it would pop off, but at the same time, it's been around for so long, so obviously there's enough people checking them out. Like, I remember when Sniper Ghost Warrior 2 came out, and it was one of the early games that I played on PC. As far as, you know, just getting into gaming PCs and uh, checking that game out. And I remember really enjoying it. But, uh, yeah, you got Contracts for free here. You got Football Manager 2024, Rugrats Adventures in Game Land, and Super uh, Crazy Rhythm Castle available next week. All right, moving on from that, I do want to give you guys a heads up on the Summer Narrative Celebration Bundle for $12.00. Now, this bundle, to me, is highlighted by the inclusion of A Space for the Unbound, which came out in January of 2023. Still holds up in price, and an incredibly, incredibly well-received game from a narrative standpoint. Uh, the writing in the game is tremendous. It's incredibly emotional, and uh, if it's your, if that sounds like your type of game, you know, narrative-driven, uh, you know, adventure games, A Space for the Unbound is going to be right up your alley. I don't know if adventure is the right word to really describe it, but you get the idea. Story-driven game, throwback art style. It's incredibly compelling, and it's got an overwhelmingly positive reception on Steam. Let me actually just pull that up. I'm 99% sure that it is overwhelmingly positive. Yeah, the game has 4,600 user reviews. 97% of those reviews are positive, and throwback art style, that pixel graphics look, but I think it looks great, but I am a sucker for that visual style, so keep that in mind. Outside of that, I really can't speak too much out, uh, on all of these other games. A Highland Song, The Pale Beyond, Do Not Feed the Monkeys 2099, Suzerain, uh, Deaths and Taxes, Genesis Noir, and then you also get a coupon for 1,000x res uh, Resist, which is an incredibly well-received game as well. 25% off coupon on that uh so yeah 12 dollars for that again i think space for the unbound makes it worthwhile so check that out and lastly do want to give a shout that yes in fact today warhammer 40k space marine 2 is in fact available i am incompetent and i mentioned that the gold edition went live yesterday that is not the case it went live today literally as i'm recording this video 40 minutes ago our friends at Green Man Gaming 
do have it discounted, 13% off for $78.29. So go ahead and check that out. If you do want, if you're an XP member, you'll get it even cheaper. And you can use the code SEP15, that is S-E-P-15, and you'll save 15% uh, instead of 13%. XP members will always get the lowest price available, and the Gold Edition gets you the Season Pass as well. And it is live right now, so go check that out. So uh, I'm loving the game. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Yes, the campaign is not super lengthy. Narratively, it really doesn't do anything for me, but as far as gameplay goes and just absolute chaos and mayhem, Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 exemplifies that so, so well. And sometimes, you know, I, I play a lot of 30 to 40 hour RPGs. I play a lot of 50 hour games, 60, 70, 80 hour games. I just completed The Legend of Heroes Trails Through Daybreak and my final hour tally on that game on Steam was 81 and a half hours. And that was probably rushing through that game a little bit by the end. Um, you know, I don't need 70 hour games all the time. I get it if you're dropping this kind of a premium price, uh, you know, especially $78 for the gold edition. A lot of people are going to want 50, 60 hours of content, but the single player campaign, yeah, you can beat that in eight to 10 hours, but then you've got the PVE operations component. You've got the PVP multiplayer as well. There's certainly a healthy level of replayability to the game. It's just, I know a lot of you guys these days are mainly focused on your solo experience, your solo campaigns. Totally understand that. I personally am like that as well, and I don't delve too much into uh, multiplayer gaming these days, especially, you know, PVP. PvP. Like, yo, th these kids online and these, uh, not even kids, these people online are just gonna whoop my ass. I'm not trying to deal with that this, at this point in my life. Like, yo, my League of Legends days are behind me. I can't get into that as much. Even playing, you know, the Souls-like games. Like, it's just, uh, yo, I'm, I'm not I'm not about that anymore as far as that gaming experience. But Space Marine 2 from a campaign standpoint, oh baby, am I all about that gaming experience. And I'm absolutely loving it in that regard. I think the game's absolutely tremendous and I think it's so well done. And as far as over the top, bloody mayhem, gory mayhem, like man, Space Marine 2 is exactly what I want more of out of video games. I get it and not every game. And honestly, every game being like this, just being absolute straight up chaos would dilute the element that Space Marine 2 has going for it. And speaking of diluting, I think if that campaign was longer, if it was a 30, 40 hour campaign, which for a game like this, that's never the case when you are multiplayer focused. Like, think about the multiplayer games of yesteryear. Did COD 4 have a 20 hour campaign? No, that's not, that's just not what these games do. They're shorter campaigns, but, um, you know, even if it was a longer campaign, if they wanted to go for a longer campaign, you're just going to dilute that level of chaos over the course of a 30-hour game. Like, it's just not sustainable, at least in my opinion. But you guys think whatever you want, have your opinion. I would recommend the game. At the very least, add it to your wish list on Steam and do check it out on sale because I think it's absolutely fantastic. But that'll do it for me. Again, two free games over at the Epic Game Store. The Summer Narrative Celebration Bundle is quite good just for a space for the Unbound and Warhammer 40K Space Marine 2. Uh, Gold Edition is live right now the quote-unquote early access, the fake early access, but uh, that'll do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.